Well, here's one that came up in the comments. This is a uh, girl, you Eugene, who um, comments from time to time. He said, I did this job the other day. He said, it was pick up 5 p.m. Um, he said, I was, it was 19 miles, one small box. I was going that way anyway. Um, and so he said, I'll quote the shipper 30 quid. You know, easy getting junk the box, that kind of thing. He said, I got there 5, 5 p.m. He said it was a massive distribution centre, absolutely huge. So he said, I've gone through the gate, I've gone to the thing, I'm ringing the buzzer, no reply. Uh, I've rung the shipper and he said, stick with it, I'll ring the firm and I'll get back to you, which he promptly didn't do. So Eugene's been on site, he's trying to find the thing. He said it took me 90 minutes to find the, um, the actual, the, the office. Where you know where they where they had the load on board, they found it. So they said, okay. So they put him on a bay. It turned out to be two pallets, 180 centimeters high. He said it took me three quarters of an hour to struggle to get him on the van. Finally got him on the van, got him the depot, took him where they needed to be, and dropped him off. He said I was on the job for four hours, for 30 quid. He said uh, can't get in contact with the shipper, uh, and his comment was. When's the CX going to realise that it's the drivers that pay them more money and, um, you know, do something about it? Um, I suppose, what, what, are we going to, what can we glean from this, guys? <laughs> the truth of the matter is, not every job's a winner. Now, I know I do this channel and I, I kick along and I do my things, not a whole... Um, I try to draw attention to the fact that not every job's a pearl. You do get them. Sometimes you do. When you turn up and you go... Is that it? I've just done one where it was a pallet. It had on it about 20, 27, 28 cases of um, Coke. Tiny cases of Coke. Literally, you know, like those, you know, like them quarter cases. Um, and it had to go to a distribution centre up in Northampton, Sainsbury's. So straight on, no problem. Thought truck driver put it on. I was in and out there in 10 minutes. Driven up to Sainsbury's. I've gone round a corner, um, I parked up outside the bay, I've gone into the office, and the guy went, yeah. He said, uh, there's a two hour wait. And I've gone, seriously? I said, guys, and I, I managed to, I said, honestly, if he, the only reason it went on a seven and a half ton is the distribution center doesn't let vans in. It only lets trucks in. I said, if you let vans in, I'd have come in my car. Honestly, guys, you could put it in there. I could, I, he, he said, I could be in and off in five minutes. Um, no, literally, I can unload it, I could be gone before you even know it. And the boat turned around, he looked at his boss, and his boss went, stick him on 76. I said, you know, I, said I, can I can unload it myself, I've got a bonnet truck, I've got a tail lift. Anyway, I've got it off, I've got it in, I've got signed, I got out of there in 10 minutes. Um, that was one of the lucky ones, but that could quite easily be me sitting there for two hours. And if it's me sitting there for two hours, I get the first hour free, the second hour's 40 quid, it's 20 quid an hour. Which is only the kind of money you get sitting around in a Luton van or a long wheelbase van, and that's the truck out of action. I was lucky that time. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm on a door, I can be on a door for an hour, hour, hour and a half, hour and three quarters, two hours, what have you. But then I get more money on each job. The truth of the matter is, though, sometimes it's not like that. Sometimes you put up, the, yeah, it's them two pallets over there, mate. Bang, bang. Straight away, get there and say, oh, there's our pallets, lovely. Pulled up, bang, bang, job done. And you can get decent money. The truth of the matter is, it's, it's, it's rough with a smooth. Um, as for when the city is going to wake up and do something about it, I don't really know what they can do. I think the thing we have to be wary of sometimes is that jobs off can potentially go on the CX because if you've got your own firm and you've got your own lorries and you know what the job is and you know it's going to be a bit of a ball ache, you think, well, I could put out one of my lorries or I could stick it on the CX and let someone else do it. The other thing you'll find... Um, is after a while you go, there's that job going from uh, Wedding Garden City to Hemel Hempstead. Oh, I know what that is. I've done that before. It's two hours worth of handball on that and I ain't going to want to pay it. So you do, the only thing I will say is it gets easier. After a while you start to recognise jobs, you start to recognise locations. Must have a company ID. Oh, that's an airport. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I've been in and out of airports pretty quick. So um, I suppose at the end... All, all I can really say is, um, not every job is a winner, but it's a bit like the gambler, isn't it? It's a bit like the, the, the um, Kelly Rogers thing. You've got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away. You know, that kind of thing. Um, and everyone's a winner. And everyone, well, No, that's not true, actually. Some of them aren't winners. Um, but every job is different. 
That's the one thing you can glean. At least you won't be bored. And you will have jobs where you go, thank you. That was lovely, thank you. And you will also have God jobs where you go, get me out of here. Please just get me out of here. But this too shall pass. And if it's any consolation, the longer you're doing it, the easier it gets, I find. Anyway, just what I do, you know, to highlight that story, like I say, don't think you're going to walk into this if you're thinking about joining and it's just going to be a breeze. It's not. It is definitely not. But at the same time, it, it can be quite fun. And you get to look at beautiful views like this when you're on your driver's brake. So, and this over here. Is that bamboo? That looks like bamboo. Anyway, I'm going to sit down on my uh, bench. I'm going to start looking for my next one because it's time to take care and take money.